Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I originally, and you'll you'll witness this as you watch the video, but originally I kind of wanted something softer and not as smoky. Um, but then it just kind of went a different direction and this is what happened. I still really like how it turned out. I hope you do too. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to join the fam, you know? Alright, so we'll go ahead and get into the video. So to save on time, I've already applied my foundation and my brows. Uh, if you are curious how I do my brows, I've actually filmed an updated brow routine video. I will have that link down below if you would like to check that out. So for today's look, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette. I felt that this was an appropriate palette to use for a Valentine's Day look. Plus, I haven't had the opportunity to use it in a video yet, so I'm doing that today. As you can see, this palette has a lot of neutrals, but it also has a few pops of uh, color that I think I'll be avoiding today. But before we get into the shadows, I'm going to apply my base, of course. And for that, I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Paint, that was really difficult to say, Paint Pot. Uh, my speech is a little impaired. I busted my face yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if you can kind of see, I, uh, it's not as noticeable now. It was really, really big last night. It's kind of calmed down today, thank God. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. I um, I was leaning, we have, our bed frame is from Ikea, so it's not exactly the best quality. And I was kind of leaning against the side of it, which I should not have been doing. I didn't apply all my pressure, okay, by the way. It's not like I was just sitting on it, but I was barely applying pressure. And then the side of it snapped and then popped up and then the corner busted my lip. It hurt so bad. And then immediately my lip was bleeding and then it swelled up and I was pretty angry. It's still kind of like broken right now. So set so my eyeshadow base, I'll be going in with Divinity, which is this really light neutral color. And I'm going to be applying that all over my lid using a fluffy E40. So now I'm gonna go in and start building up my crease. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is this Almond Truffle. It's a little bit more of a kind of a taupey brown. It's really, really light, but it's, it's a beautiful transition shade. So I'm beginning to realize that I have hooded eyes and that has a huge effect on how shadows and liner apply on my eye shape. So um, I think that I, I think I kind of already recognized, but didn't realize. Does that even make sense? <laughs> um, I think that's why I always take my crease color through the crease and a little bit above, which then that way you can actually see the crease color. Otherwise, if I only put it in the crease and I'm looking straight on or whatever, you don't really see it. So. Um, I always tend to bring it up. So I did that before realizing that that's why I was doing it, if that makes sense. I'm also gonna drag this color along my bottom lash line as well. And kind of connect it at the outer corner a bit. So now I'm gonna go in and deepen on my crease using this shade right here. This is Malted. It's a deeper, more rich chocolatey color. Um, it does have some like very, very micro fine flex. It doesn't really translate on the lid. It actually just kind of shows up more as a matte shadow. I don't want it to completely take over my lid or my transition shade. So it's going to be focused really in the socket, basically. And I'm just kind of dragging this right along my eyeball. I'm kind of massaging my eyeball, really, which is kind of weird. Yeah, that's really weird. Eyeballs need love, too. Now to add a little bit of shimmer, I'm gonna go in to Molasses Chip, which is right next to Malted. I'm taking that on the same brush. This is the Zoeva 221. It's a really nice, soft, brush but it's also still very 
defined. So it's not like a pencil brush and it's also not too fluffy. So you can apply color where you want to. So for this shade, I'm going to apply it directly under the molted shadow, but I'm not taking up the entire lid space yet. Maybe I am. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and take up the entire lid space. Whatever. So I just bought the Stila Magnificent Metal Eyes Metallic Dusty Rose. Um, <laughs> just bought it, as in like the sticker's still on it, and I can't even open it yet. <laughs> <laughs> got it so as you can see this is like a really gorgeous light color um i really have been wanting this one for so long i have three other ones from this collection um all of which are like bronzy and coppery shades but i've been wanting this one so i finally got it and now i really want to use it for this look but i'm not really sure how i'm going to <laughs> Um, I can't decide if I want to use it like in the inner corner or like in the middle. So let me give you guys a moment to help me decide since I can't make up my mind on my own. So go ahead and comment down below if you want me to do the middle of the eye or in the inner corner. And I will make my decision based on your feedback. Yeah, so when I busted my lip yesterday and it swelled up, I knew more then than ever before that I really want to get lip fillers. <laughs> Um, but like on both sides, you know, not just one because it was just like one side was really slow and I'm like, I really like how this side looks. <laughs> oh yeah. What's that? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. I understand. Thank you. Well, it looks like the results are in and you guys voted for the center of the lid. So we're going to apply this shimmery shadow on the center of the lid. Good choice, guys. That was kind of what I was leaning towards anyway. I've just mixed up a little bit in this little tray here. And we're gonna apply it to the center of the lid per your request. Maybe I'll apply it in the bottom. Okay. Yep, yeah, I like that. It's coming together, guys. It's happening. So I'm gonna go back in with Almond Truffle at the bottom lash line just to smoke it out a little bit more. Especially since I applied that kind of shimmery metallic shadow, I want it to stand out a little bit more. And in order for it to stand out more, I have to have something darker beside it, so. And now, because I feel like I need a little bit more definition, I'm going back in with Malted. Um, this is the Smith 304. I have like a hair in my eye. It's about to ruin my entire look. I feel like this look is going in, in the opposite direction that I initially wanted to go. Uh, so, yeah. I wasn't going to do a halo spotlight, whatever you wanna call it look, but that's kind of what's happening now. Then I'm going to define my inner and outer corner a little bit more with molted. To, I guess, really commit to this look now. So, so I think this will look pretty in the end. I'm just a little disappointed in myself that I'm taking it past 
my original drama threshold. <laughs> For my liner, I'm going to use Overboard by ColourPop in the pencil form. Mine's gotten a little crazy though. It like literally, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to use this now. This is just a really pretty copper color. I want something on my waterline, but I don't want it to be black. Because I don't want it to be too harsh or dramatic. I'm going for a soft romantic look today. For mascara, I'm going to be using Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's an incredible mascara. One of my absolute favorite mascaras of life. So for lashes today, I'll be using the Miami Style by Lily Lashes. I'm going to apply these off camera and then when I come back, we'll finish up the rest of the face. So that's eyes done. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the face. For highlight and contour, I'll be using my... What? To highlight and contour, I'll be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'll be mixing the banana color as well as this lighter color on this Real Techniques brush and just applying that under my eyes in a patting motion. I don't want to sweep and move my makeup around. Center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and my chin. To contour, I'm going to go in with this lighter taupe shade on a fluffy Sigma F10. Highlight, I'm using Becca Moonstone on a Sigma F03. For blush, I'm using Benefits Dallas on a Sigma F15. And for lips, I'll be using Angelus by Ofra Cosmetics. I have been absolutely loving Ofra's long-lasting liquid lipsticks. Oh, they are amazing. They're very buttery. Actually, they remind me a lot of the NYX Butter, is it Butter Gloss? Uh, I can't remember. Butter's in the name. Of course, we need to lock everything in. I'm going to be using the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. This is for oil control. This is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I hope you do too. If you do end up recreating this look, which I hope you do, or some variation of it, please use the hashtag HeidiCupcake on Instagram so I can come find it and show you some love. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.